Hello everyone, I'm going to be walking you through Steady in Lesson 14 on page 78. This short, simple piece uses the pattern P-I-M-A-M-I. -I. It's just a variation of the pattern you used in Lesson 13, which was P-I-M-A, such as Prelude Ne. Alright, so this is just an extension of that pattern. P-I-M-A, but goes back to the middle, goes back to the index. Uh, just like Prelude Ne, the index finger is assigned to the third string. It'll always play the third string. Middle finger always plays the second, and the ring finger always plays the first. The only variable is, again, what the bass will play, what the thumb will play, and you only have two options, either the fourth string or the fifth. Why don't I play this for you first? get perspective and then we'll dive into it. Okay, the, um, the first thing you want to notice in the music is that we have a flat sign, so uh, we'll be playing a B flat in here shortly. So the next thing is that this is in 3-4 time signature, which means that there's three beats in every measure. So it would be counted 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 3 and it's going to be very easy to slip into another time signature without realizing it. It's be 6 8. 1 and a 2 and a 1 and a 2 and a 1. All right, so be really, really careful. It's a very subtle difference, but there is a difference. We want 1 and 2 and 3 and not 1 and a 2 and a. All right? Left hand. First chord is a D minor in the key of D minor, so we're going to start with the D minor chord. We're going to have an F in the bass instead of the D. So we need to form the chord this way. Okay, so bass is on the fourth string, thumb is on the fourth string. Measure two. Keep the pinky down on second string D. Move the middle finger, the second finger, from third string A to fourth string E. Everything else is up. All right, then lift that up. Still have the pinky on second string D. And then we move into an A chord. All right, so we're gonna have our second finger move back to third string A, and then we're adding our second finger on second string C sharp need to use these two fingers because we're going to be using our index finger and our pinky uh, in the next measure on two other notes. All right, so that this measure is okay, measure five, index finger on fifth string B flat, first fret, pinky back down on second string D. isn't it? Love it. All right, lift this back up. So now we're back to that A shaped chord, which is why we, we use these two fingers and we're leaving this down. By the way, when we play this chord, right, we don't really need this third finger on, on C sharp, but we want to keep it there because we're going back to it. So we're planning ahead. It's much easier that way. Okay, measure seven. We put our index finger back on B flat, pinky on D, and here we can lift both fingers up or just lift up the second finger. Doesn't make any difference on this one. All right, so either lift them both up or just uh, lift up the second finger. 
and then back to the that A shape chord. So we're really coming back to this chord quite a bit. Let me just play these eight measures again. two up or just just the second finger either one and then back down now we just repeat everything okay so measure nine is back is the same as measure one measure ten is the same as measure two and so forth measure eleven measure twelve measure thirteen here, measure 14 is where it changes, right? We're going to keep our third finger on C sharp, move the second finger up from third string A to fourth string E. It's just an A7 chord using these two fingers. And then uh, measure 15, we're forming a D minor chord, so we're going to take our second finger and move it back to be uh, the third string A, form the rest of the D minor using these same fingers, right? Don't use the third finger. It's very awkward, right? So just use your pinky. And we're going to keep these down while we play just that D in the last measure all right, so that all those notes ring out. Okay, so there's a summary of, of how to play this. But once you can make these transitions and you can make it flow, which is great, now you want to make music out of it because no one wants to listen to just fingers moving on strings. What they want to hear is what you hear. Your interpretation, your emotion, your feeling. You need to invest yourself into these notes and draw out the music and so that when you play it, it's you that, that people are hearing. Thank you.